Okay, it's a Prime Minister again. We just played against him. Let's see his profile. Um, Blitz. So he played many, many games, and his best rating was 2 3. Alright. And um, he played against us something similar, so. Um, Hmm. I want to avoid this opening battles, so my setup is very, very, very cautious now. And he plays similar with black as with white, so this is a, I think this is a clever way to play, because he can always uh, use similar strategies, like fighting just f5, d5, b5, and uh, he knows the ideas, so I think this is a very good way. Um, playing chess. I tried similar like in the in the last game that I provoke him but I need to take care that he doesn't overrun me and um, you know the thing is I didn't play something in the center and Usually you play something like this, a white plate e4 or c4. What I can do now is try to take an advantage out, out of this and opening up the center. And if he plays e4, I think the whole position might also be good for me. And with the best place for this knight on f4, mm, maybe it's hard to go to f4, e1, g2, f4. Or oh, try, yeah, let's play to e1. So we have a very close center now, and um, the question is how to get some play on the queen side. First I want to protect my rook. You see that this bishop on g7 was aiming at, at a1, so if I play something like b3 and c4, this might be a problem, a potential problem. So um, I wanted to get rid of this. You can play bishop a6 now to take the exchange or you can try to do it. Um, I wouldn't mind because I think the bishop uh, is good, the, the rook is not good, but that's not a problem at all because I can always play uh, knight b5. I think this knight, I like to play to c2. And if he allows me to do so, um, to a3. Yes, so this knight is not doing that much here. And by playing this, these kind of uh, moves like c3, d3, e3 and later d4, he's not in the position he normally likes to play, so, uh, attacking here quickly. Um, Yeah, this is a very, very close position. Hmm. I would love to play something like b3 later on, but for this I need to get better place uh, for this bishop. It would be good on c2 maybe. Um, I can't really play something like f3 or f4 because he could always take, and I have problems here on the king's side. Hmm. I need to take care about something like playing him g5 and f4. Yes, this bishop is not good, so I'm not afraid if he. Um, 
if he takes a bishop. It's like a pawn, you know, it's locked in. Um, so let's improve the position of, uh, of this bishop now, maybe h5. And also if he plays uh, f4, I could always play bishop g4. Okay, now let's protect the rook, uh, the bishop with the rook. This uh, rook is not doing much here. So, sooner or later he wants to play f4. Whenever he plays f4, I will play queen g4. This is always dangerous if there's a rook. And, um, Okay, here we go. So I improve the position of my queen first. If we retreat with the queen, I need to take care about something like bishop c8 maybe. Yes. So this is why I make room for the bishop to come to g4. And I certainly don't want to open any lines here. I always... Okay. Hmm, should I take with the knight? Uh, with the pawn? No. So this is now, now time again to speed up. Does this, is this a problem if he enters with the rook here? can just take you can you check yeah yeah this is a there's a problem if you don't have time so yes I can resign this time warning white resigns all right so let's analyze because it's uh, it's good always when you lose a game um, you can learn something out of it and if you look at the position now I mean I, I don't like many of my pieces at all um, I mean the knight on a3 is bad it's on on the rim so and before the bishop here the bishop on d2 was not a piece it was a pawn and you couldn't do anything with it so um, here, I mean, if you look at the bishop, what can he do? He's totally locked in, and I don't have any play at all. So I would say my whole opening plan was a bad one. I mean, this the whole game was just uh, playing on one goal uh, or on, on one side of the uh, of the board. He had a lot of space advantage, and I was only defending. I couldn't do something active. So I would say the whole idea was playing c3 and then uh, e3 and fighting for d4 uh, is not good. So uh, yeah, maybe I, I, either I need to play c4 to fight for d5 or e4 now, some some like, some kind of king's Indian setup. But by playing e3 and then d4 later on, I shouldn't have allowed him to play um, e4. So here I think I'm already worse so i needed to prepare it or um even if it's a waste of tempo because i just played e3 
maybe I should play something like e4 to get the bishop out to give him some space so um, yeah look just look at this position here I mean it's terrible the bishop is doing nothing and uh, here the pieces are somewhat locked in as well um, and the reason is I don't have enough space to maneuver and black did it very good in my opinion uh, because he he kept a lot of pieces on board so yeah don't uh, don't uh, don't do this with your pieces don't lock them and don't lock your bishops in um, if you have a pawn chain like this you have to exchange your bishop first get it out 